away and running. Slow to go is Helen Ortiz, but Sweet Heidelberg guns it from gate three today. Ambitiously places right there too, and so is West Side Girl. Divine Exchange is right there in the middle of the pack. Very wide is Helen Ortiz, and Salagadula looking for three in a row is last of all. So no pace pressure whatsoever at the six and a half for Sweet Heidelberg today. She shows the way, and it's a length and a tail at best. Ambitiously placed stays at the rail, now downgraded to third as Divine Exchange picks off that rival for second, and Helen Ortiz has had a wide trip, but now lands a share of fourth in a race that sees no pace whatsoever. West Side Girls in front of one, and Salagadula stays at the muddy, gooey rail over the sloppy go here, and it's Sweet Heidelberg, still the dictating speed down to the four and a half. Leads by a length and a half over Divine Exchange, who has no excuses in second, and the same can be said for Ambitiously Placed. Two lanes down to Helen Ortiz, who comes under a ride. Salagadula is trying to get past that rival, and West Side Girl is the last one to swing the side. Fourth choice in the wagering market is Sweet Heidelberg, and and she continues to show the way. Divine Exchange is chasing in second. The 9-5 to five favorite ambitiously placed is under the whip and not responding as of right now. And Sweet Heidelberg has opened up on the opposition and has 3 sixteenths of a mile to go and still leads by two. Ambitiously places trying to re-rally up the sloppy rail and Sweet Heidelberg is still leading while drifting out. And Sweet Heidelberg is nicely clear at odds of 6-1. to one. A good battle for second with Divine Exchange winning that battle, Sweet Heidelberg is home first over Divine Exchange. Ambitiously placed, and Salagadula had a very wide trip in the stretch run. Away and running. Slow to go is Chio. Good speed in the center from St. Devereaux. There's the rail speed of Keep It Safe. And Jet Spin is right there, too. Deep on the track is Sippin' Time. Fino from Ernie's, a well supported runner in the wagering pool, is last as Chio passes that rival. But the pace is hot. St. Devereaux and Jet Spin, these two ladies take their fight to Sippin' Time on the wide outside. Keep It Safe is trying to squeeze on through a very tight spot. Chio is still in front of one. And and Vino from Ernie's is going to be six paths deep around the turn. There's three furlongs left to go. And Jet Spin now puts that black cap to the lead. But deep on the track is Sippin' Time. St. Devereaux will try to pull a rabbit out of her hat and re-rally from third. Keep it safe, so struggling fourth. Vino from Ernie's is trying to navigate through traffic. And Chio goes very wide after a slow start. Heads turn for home. And still leading is Jet Spin in the center of the track. Vino from Ernie's is taking ground away. Way, and these two face off along with Sippin' Time. One more for long to go for Jet Spin. Pads that lead to one. Sippin' Time is chasing in vain. Fino from Ernie's is chasing in vain, and so is Chio. Jet Spin holding. Fino from Ernie's dives. Photo! I think the five got it. Fino from Ernie's in a win photo at seven to five. Away and running. Court contender was a touch slow. Good speed from Silver Style. And Afraid of the Bunny gets a pop of the crop of the seven and a half. 
Awesome Flay lurks in that fourth place position, and Style Me Royal in the center of the track is trying to circle up on the far outside. The two in the back are Winged Foot and Court Contender. Six and a half for longs to go, and Afraid of the Bunny won the lead, and he got it, and the lead is only three quarters of a length. Style Me Royal is right there, keeping tabs on that speed in second, and Silver Style lurks behind the both of them. Awesome Flay's already a muddy mess in that fourth place position, and Court Contender continues to scrape paint with five furlongs to go and ring foot brings up the rear five lanes would cover the lot and afraid of the buddy leads past the four and a half and the lead still that three quarter of a length margin and style me royal is not letting him get away without a fight court contender sensing a slower pace tries to squeeze on through awesome flay is dipped wide but now grabs fourth and shares third silver styles in traffic and still wing foot is last of all no twist to the plot yet with five sixteenths to go afraid of the bunny still the dictating speed lets it out a notch to lead by a length and a half court contender picks up the chase in second style me royal is right there but needs to do a little bit better at the top of the stretch afraid of the buddy is the first one to cut past a 3 16th and has built up a three length lead here comes silver style with a mid track burst and awesome flay is battling on with style me royal there's a 16th to go afraid of the money still holding on but here comes silver style and here comes awesome flay a Afraid of the Bunny was gutsy today to beat Awesome Flay, Silver Style, and Style Me Royal. Away and running. It was a good even start. Say Sole. Nine to two when the wagering market close shows the way, but single barrel bourbon is gonna take the early fight to this rival. And Turbo Millie is content to sit in that third place position as they have seven furlongs left to go. So firming down to five to two, Shea Soleil is the leader. The lead's about a length and a half. Only the second run since October 21 for the leader and shows the way a length and a half. Single Barrel Bourbon, one for 26 lifetime, is right there tracking the speed in second. And Turbo Millie is last of all down to the Four and a half for long pole, make that five and a half, and Shea Soleil is the leader. Nice and relaxed lead two, the lead's down to three quarters of a length in the opening quarter time at 24.11. Single barrel bourbon still on hold in that second place position, and three lanes down from the leader is Turbo Millie. Six to five is last glance. They go down to the four for long stick, and Shea Soleil is trying to cause an upset in the fourth of the day. She leads by a length and a half. Now Turbo Millie gets a bit closer to the half mile time in 49 and change. It's Shea Soleil still leading with a one and a half lead to her name. Turbo Millie's ready to take a crack at this leader second. And single barrel bourbon is off the fence and coming under a heavy drive. But in the meantime, Shea Soleil is popped out of the gate and shows the way by one and a half lengths as they turn for home. Alex Crispin says go on Shea Soleil, but Turbo Millie is poised to pounce. Three sixteenths to go. Shea Soleil is holding on to a three quarter of a length lead. Turbo Millie is all in and slowly trying to catch inside the final 16th of a mile. Shea Soleil popped and didn't stop today. And a headsy ride by Alexander Crispin. Shea Soleil, the longest price on the board, has won it. the start. 
away and running. Perfect start. Swift tap pings first. Musical heart is sent hard up against the inside, and there's the yellow cap of its game time, and the pace is quick. And in that fourth place position is doing it the right way, who was hampered by musical hearts. Up the inside is Club Men. Next door to him is Hefner. Second to last is Walkway Joe. And JJD with the money on has a lot of catching up to do. But Swift taps taking no prisoners today and passes a six furlong peg with a four length lead, make it three. It's game time takes up the chase in second and Musical Art teams up with that rival and doing it the right way is all by itself in fourth but starts to get closer with five furlongs left to go. Then there's a gap of three back to Clubman who's a tracking fifth. JJD is on the move in sixth. Walkaway Joe is second last under a loose rein and Hefner is still last of the eight. Halfway home and it's still Swift Tap says catch me if you can in this wall of wetness and shows the way by five. Musical Heart continues to chase in second and doing it the right way is three paths deep. It's game time's in between rivals and JJD now lands fifth and club men is a backpedaling sixth in front of walkaway Joe and Hefner's never near here's the quarter pole and Swift Tap continues the lead at five to one at the top of the stretch Swift Tap came out of his corner swinging today and leads by three doing it the right way trying to bridge that gap JJD is starting to take off and there's only a furlong to go and Swift Tap is giving this field something to think about today doing it the right way is a struggling second walk away joe battles with jjg and clubman but swift tap could not be caught today swift tap has won it over doing it the right way jjd and walk away joe Away and running. Good middle speed for Beach Island today. Peyton Elizabeth is also right there, and Mo Tuff has hustled along under some whip encouragement. Make Me Believe has caught a little wide at the 15th 16th pole, and Louise Brooks loops along in the slop last of all. Around the first turn they go. Beach Island's the leader, but left the rail wide open for Mo Tuff today, and she takes full advantage of that rail opening, and these two ladies now go a little bit quicker as Mo Tuff now takes the lead as they approach the six. Beach Island is right there, kicking a Again in that second place position and make me believe is very wide for the backstretch run. Peyton Elizabeth dons the red cap in third and Louise Brooks is also right there. Only one and a half lengths would cover the lot. So they go down to the five for long pole and now a new leader. Beach Island shows the way and the leads only by half a length. Mo Tuff needs to re-rally from that second place position and Peyton Elizabeth is traveling nicely with no excuses today and those three stack up across the track. Make me believe is going to be committed to a five wide run and and Luis Brooks is last of all, but still only two lanes covers tip to tail. And Mo Tuff is resurging today, but Peyton Elizabeth takes the battle to her. And these two kick on past the 5 16 pole. Beach Island has no more to give. A distant third is make me believe in in between rivals is Luis Brooks. They just passed the quarter pole. And now Peyton Elizabeth kicks for home and looks for a danger. And there's none inside at the moment. Mo Tuff is now grudgingly giving way. And a distant third is make me believe battling with Beach Island but at the final furlong pole Peyton Elizabeth hounded at the wagering windows at 3-5 to five, will live up to the hype today Peyton Elizabeth has won it Mo Tuff was second make me believe third and Beach Island checked home in fourth
away and running. Good speed on the outside from Double Edged Sword today, but there's the early speed of Noble Gaston. Disco Ball emerges into that second place position, and Double Edged Sword backs off the speed in third. And Don't Wait Up is last of all, so the opening furlong belongs to Noble Gaston. A little headstrong, but still has the lead by three quarters of a length. And Disco Ball ups the ante with four furlongs to go. Double Edged Sword is five lengths down from the Tearaway leaders, and Don't Wait Up now glides up the inside as they navigate the far turn so disco ball kayaks his way to the top noble gaston slowly giving way still a huge divide back to double edged sword who's off the fence and don't wait up rides that rail there's a quarter to go and double edged sword continues to lead noble gaston needs to do better deep on the track is double edged sword don't wait up spin last of all as they splash to the top of the stretch and disco ball looking for a danger there's none in sight right now it's built up a Five length lead, and the jockey hasn't moved a muscle yet. Double edged sword battles don't wait up, and Noble Gaston, but the one to two favorites got it. Disco ball first over don't wait up, double edged sword, and Noble Gaston was the last one home. There's only one